家好 ，Welcome back to another episode of Growing Up with Chinese. 成长汉语 Thanks for joining us. 欢迎大家 Today we continue our series on Hou Hai, one of Beijing's most popular hangouts. Now, last time we saw some of the sights along Lotus Lane and in Hou Hai's many hutongs. Today we're hitting the water. That's right. Xiaoming, Lan Lan, and Mike have decided to go boating, which is actually a common pastime all over China, where there are public lakes. Now, I can remember going boating as a kid in Nanjing on Xuanwu Lake. The paddle boats there resembled swans. It was a lot of fun. Now, I'm sure boats have changed a lot since I was a kid. So let's check in with our fabulous trio and see just what they're up to. Lan Lan, Xiao Min, you look. There are people on the boat. Wow, that's great! We should go to the boat too. Xiao Min, where can we rent a boat? This. I ask them. Ah, this is for the boat. 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 老家，我们想租条船。啊，你好，手划船还是脚踏船？您稍等，我问一下。哎，咱们租手划船还是脚踏船？嗯，我看还是租脚踏船吧，划手划船太累了。对对，我也不太会划手划船。我们租一条脚踏船。好的，四十块钱一小时。对了，得交多少钱押金？呃，押金两百元。好的。给您。这是您的押金条，租船费从押金里扣。嗯，谢谢您。好了，咱们快走吧。我这有价钱啊小明、麦克，你们俩谁来划船？我来掌握方向。嗯。看，我们比他们划得快，加油，加油！我们比他们划得快，加油！哎好的，不不，兰兰，我们俩还是照张合影吧。一、二、三，好了。这儿的风景真是太美了，兰兰，你给我们唱首歌吧。好吧，唱什么？就唱《让我们荡起双桨》。起双桨，小船推开波浪，海面倒映着美丽的白塔，四周环绕着。Well, that certainly looked like fun, no? Life has gotten so high tech; it's sometimes quite easy to forget. How wonderful it is to have some simple fun! Next time, Mike, Xiaoming, and Lan Lan go out. I'm going to ask if I can go along too, and you're all invited. Okay, let's take a quick look at some of what was said in our clip. 你们看，那边有人在划船。Look, guys, there are people paddling boats over there. 划 is to paddle or row. 船 is boat. So 划船 is to row a boat or paddle a boat. 兰兰，小明，你看那边有人在划船。哇，太棒了！咱们也去划船吧。小明，在哪可以租船？这个，我问问他们吧。
在哪儿可以租船 ？Where can we rent a boat? 在哪儿 ？Where 可以 ？Can 租 ？Rent 在哪儿可以租船 ？Where can we rent a boat? 不远，挺近的。Not far. It's pretty close. Ting is another way to say 比较 which is like saying rather, quite, or pretty. 挺近的 It's rather close. 你好，请问在哪儿可以租船？哦、oh, ，就在那边。远不远？不远，挺近的。快点，快点，咱们走吧。手划船还是脚踏船 ？Let's break this up before we translate it, okay? 手 hand, right? 划 to row or paddle. 船 boat. A boat with hand paddles. 手划船。脚 is foot or feet. 踏 is to step on or tread on. 船 is boat. A boat paddled with your feet. So a paddle boat. 手划船还是脚踏船 is asking a boat with oars or a paddle boat. 老贾，我们想租条船。啊，你好，手划船还是脚踏船？你稍等，我问一下。哎。咱们租手划船还是脚踏船？嗯，我看还是租脚踏船吧，划手划船太累了。对对，我也不太会划手划船。我们租一条脚踏船。好的，四十块钱一小时。Okay, that just about wraps up our general overview for today's dialogue. Now let's get into some specifics. Let's take a look at today's vocabulary first, and we've got a lot of fun vocabulary words to cover. Then we'll move on to our radical. 划 to paddle or row. 划船 boat, ship. 船租 to rent. 租稍等 wait a moment. 稍等押金 money deposit. 押金唱歌 To sing, 唱歌，掌握。In today's context, 掌握 means control. 掌握，风景 ，scenery. 风景。Today's radical is one of my favorites. 舟 which means boat. Let's take a look at it. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Kind of looks like a boat, doesn't it? It doesn't take much imagination, actually, to see a boat in this character, Joe. And as a radical, we see it in the character for boat. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at it. 船船。There's the character for boat. Now, some of you might be wondering what the difference is between saying 船 boat and 舟 boat. Well, historically speaking, 舟 came before 船 It was only after the Han Dynasty that 船 became the common term for boat. Nowadays. Zhou is used to refer to very small boats, and even then, you don't hear it too too much. Okay, enough history. Let's look at some other characters that have the boat radical. Hang, navigate, sail, or fly. Pan, plate or dish. Cang, cabin or hold. Last show, our spotlight was Ho Hai, and while our fabulous trio is still wandering about this wonderful area, today we thought it might be fun to talk about some of Beijing's parks. Parks are a great thing to have in any modern city. When looking at forests of buildings gets too tiring, parks can offer a good change of scenery and pace. Beijing has lots of parks: neighborhood parks, larger parks, and even historical parks. One park that functions as both a neighborhood and historical park is Beihai Gongyuan Beihai Park. 
First of all, Beihai's location is smack dab in the middle of town. It neighbors the Forbidden City and Shichahai. First built in the 10th century, it's one of the oldest and best preserved imperial gardens in Beijing. Now, before it became a public park, Beihai was where the emperors and empresses of China went to relax, as it was connected to the Forbidden City. Now, part of what makes Beihai so beautiful and so special is that many parts of it were constructed to reflect scenic spots from all over China. So you can sit in the pavilions and see the canals or waterways of Yangzhou or Hangzhou, walk through a garden you might find in Suzhou, and on and on. People will go there to see the Nine Dragon Wall, which is a wall made of glazed bricks with nine complete dragons playing across it on both sides, or the White Dagoba, or the Five Dragon Pavilions. Others will go there simply to be in a beautiful park and do the things that one does when one is in a park. It's time to look at some of today's language points, and we'll begin with a pattern: A, 还是 B, A or B. So, 你想去后海还是天坛 Do you want to go to Ho Hai or the Temple of Heaven? Now we saw this pattern today in the question: 手划船还是脚踏船 Rowboat or a paddle boat? It's pretty straightforward. A, 还是 B. 明天第一节课是英语还是数学？我看看。你喜欢什么颜色？蓝色还是黄色？蓝色。得， day is a helping verb that means must or should. 我们得走了。We should be leaving. 得交多少钱押金 ？How much deposit do we have to pay? Now there's no choice involved with de. Just like must or have to in English. 八点了，我们得快点了。八点，我的表刚七点。天哪，我的表坏了！完了完了，我们会迟到的。兰兰，兰兰，我们出去玩吧。不行，我得做作业。B on its own denotes comparison, and there are three basic rules we need to go over for this one. Rule number one: A, B, B plus adjective. For example, Mike 比兰兰高 Mike is taller than 兰兰 If you want to add a word of degree, you use 更 and not 非常 or 很 Rule two. B cannot be used when expressing a comparison in negative form. Lan Lan isn't as tall as Mike. You can't say Lan Lan B Mike 不高 Instead, you say Lan Lan 没有 Mike 高 Lan Lan isn't as tall as Mike. And finally, rule number three: If you're comparing things that have a specific difference, the specific difference comes after the adjective. So, 我比他大 I'm older than him. Specific difference. 我比他大三岁 I'm three years older than him. 今天比昨天热。是吗？可天气预报说今天没有昨天热。兰兰，我和麦克谁比谁帅？当然是麦克比你帅。好了，我们得休息了。Okay, it's time to take a break. We're out of time for the day. We've covered a lot, and don't worry if you've got a grammar or vocabulary word swimming around in your head. It will all settle with time. And don't forget, if you're having trouble with anything, feel free to visit our website. And if you can't find what you're looking for, please send us your question, and I'll answer it at the end of one of our shows. All questions are good questions. Okay, 大家。加油 ！I'll see you all next time. 再见。